Good morning. It is Monday, October the 30th. We've got a bunch of orders to pull today. We've got 27, I think it is. Something like that. We, well, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff to pull. We've got one customer that's purchased multiple items. I think uh, of those 27, I want to say it's 10 orders total. But let's go ahead and get pulling. I hope everybody had a great weekend. So our first one is a CD. It is Saving Private Ryan. It's in box eight. So it's the motion picture soundtrack. Saving Private Ryan. Box eight. This is going to be one that I have not yet labeled, which like I was telling you guys, I really I need to do that. It would make it so much easier to find these CDs because see how they're just not in any kind of order as far as the numbers on the CDs. I don't know what it would entail to come back through here. There it is, right there. Saving Private Ryan. To come back through here and do them. I know I've said that a couple times that I need to do that. I'm not gonna put them all back yet. Just, just in case if we had to pull more from those. But I should do that and make it a lot easier. Okay, so this one sold for $4.99 plus shipping. So again, I, I know I've told you guys about the story on those CDs, but just in case if you haven't, we got like a bunch at this estate sale, about 500 of them for $5. It's just insane. Okay, now we've got a PlayStation 3 game, Ratchet and Clank. Future Tools. It's in box 10. So go to box 10, Ratchet and Clank. And again, those move, or I'm sorry, the, the video games have been great as well. This, it seems like I've sold just about like one every day. There it is first. Ratchet and Clank, Tools of Destruction. Is that right? I think it is. We'll double check. After my after my flub last week on the comic book, and remember, and I got to be extra careful with this stuff and ensure that I pull the right thing. Okay, here is Ratchet and Clank. Yep. Oh, not wrong. Let me scroll up here. There you go. Ratchet and Clank. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. So there's that. That's another separate order. Okay, now we've got another CD. This one is in box three, number 16. Box three, number 16. Let's go see what that is. Box three. <laughs> it figures it's at the bottom here. I'm gonna pick these up. I'm sorry about bouncing you guys around with the camera. I've got to get this these totes like a shelf built so that way. old Charlie Brown. All right, 16 of this 31. So they're going to be on the back side. See, these are numbered, so make it easier. There we are, number 16. All right, I'll put all this stuff back in here. And again, this is another one. Another time. I might need 
to work on. Well, now it's not going back in the way I had it. Isn't that funny how, like, when you take stuff out, it always seems like it never goes back in the way that you had it. Okay, there we go. All right. And this is Hard Dine Eclipse. I've actually never heard of that band. So it is Hardline, oh, Double Eclipse. Hardline Double Eclipse Music CD. That one sold for $9.99 plus shipping. So that is a separate order as well. And then... See, these are cards. We're going to pull those in just a second. All right, here's another game. This is an Xbox Pocket Bike Racer. It's on box two. So, Pocket Racer. That's like this thing that you could get in Burger King. I remember getting that. Thing. Go. Pocket Racer. There's some more CDs when I first started listing in that box that are not numbered. That I want to get numbered. I need to just break down and just do one at a time. I think I got like four totes of them that are four locations that are not like that. Okay. All right. This one. It is the pocket bike, pocket bike racer game. I don't know if I showed it to you good, but there it is. And it sold for $4.99 plus shipping. All right, and then we've got a 2022-23 Bowman Chrome University pack basketball and you know what they're looking for here is they want women yama all right so which pack should we grab let's do a random we'll get the one in the middle all right Hopefully it's a good luck one for the customer all right there we go a random random middle pack and that is the 0203 Bowman Chrome University basketball and that sold for seven dollars plus shipping all right that's that now i'm gonna move these to the side here and then we'll pull these other cards i'm gonna pull it down these boxes real quick put them down here and then we'll pull those that's one two three four there's five orders there and then the rest of the orders actually cards so that's cool let's pull these down real quick all right we got these pulled down so let's pull the first one it's a 1999-2000 sp authentic buyback of robert trailer it is an autograph and well Trailer. It should be in the T. I wonder if I put it in multi. No, I wouldn't have put it multi. You know what? It just hit me. I think I may have actually put that in that other box where I had my graded cards and stuff on eBay. Let's see. What I'm thinking I do now that I have. So there's that. What's under here? No. Well. Alright, I'm gonna have to put you guys on. Oh, you know what? It's in the packs one, isn't it? I was getting ready to 
put you guys in a hold. But I bet you it's in that same one where the packs were, isn't it? Yep, there it is. Okay. So it's not sealed, obviously, but it's a buyback that the late wife pulled out of this stuff. I'll show it to you. See that? It's Robert Trailer autograph. And it's got the buyback thing. And you can see how the sticker matches the numbers. But that's kind of cool how they did that back then. These things were super rare, super hard to get. But she had really good luck. She's always pulling the really good stuff. So hard to get. Okay, that's one order. That, oh, I didn't tell you. That sold for $60 plus shipping. All right, next one. We've got a 2023 Legacy Premium Edition Jurin Hall, which I guess just by default, he just became the starting, there he is, quarterback for the Minnesota Vikings. It's unfortunate Kirk Cousins apparently tore his Achilles or ruptured his Achilles. I think they say he tore it. But it's 28 of 149. And it sold by it now in 1999. I thought about whenever Kirk Cousins got hurt. I actually thought about raising the price on it. And I didn't. I even pulled it up and was going to. And I left it at the 1999. I got like eight offers within about 15 minutes of them announcing that Kirk Cousins was more than likely done for the year. I didn't take them. I just kind of let it ride. And then it sold for the listing price of the $19.99. And I probably could have went up because I saw there's a couple more after that that sold for $30. And then there was one that just sold for $40. So, but it's okay, though. Someone got a good deal. If he pans out, too, you know. All right, so next one, we've got a National Treasures Chris Boucher Auto. So it's B... I really need to start probably putting these in alphabetical order. I'm not sure what this one looks like. Chris Boucher. Uh, oh, is this it? Let's see. Sheet metal. Tire. And I could say it's 35 of 50. Yep, there it is. All right, so it's 35 of 50. And that is the autographed fire suit, sheet metal, and tire. So it's pretty cool. That sold for $16.49 plus shipping. And these all go... Are these the same customer? I guess they are. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah. All right, and then they got some more. Okay, there's that. Okay, okay here's another one. Another order. This one. There's two on it. So it is. I just realized, I think I. Hmm. I'll have to check that and see. I think I accidentally. Nope. Okay. All right. So Tanner Gray. It's the next one. It's an autograph. And it is Timeless Treasures. It's the Chronicles. Tanner Gray. There it is. Cards had slowed down a little bit. Wasn't it really picked up yesterday? Okay, so Timeless Treasures, Tanner Gray Autograph. This sold for $4.24 plus shipping. All right, and then Daniel Hemrick. Uh, let's see, H, there we go. Daniel 
him right. It's a lot of racing. That's a sweet. Oh, is this it? Let's see. Yes. That's a sweet patch, honestly. Okay, so this one, Daniel Hemrick, that's the 2022 National Treasures. It's numbered 15 of 49, and that sold for $17.99 plus shipping. All right. Oh, I, got, I actually got a, a Donruss Racing Blaster box. So, this box right here, this customer got. Is that it? Yep, 2021 Donruss Racing Blaster. It sold for 25. All right, now William Byron race use tires. All right, I think it's that one. Let's double check on that. Sure. All right, William Byron, numbered. 35 of 49, yep. All right, this one sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Okay. Optic Bailey Curry. And this is the Bailey Curry Red, the Red Hollow, number 99. Bailey Curry. Whoops. Is that it? Is the season ticket? Uh, yep. That is it. These are going kind of quick. Okay, so this one is the Contenders Optic Bailey Curry Red, and it's 54 of 99. And that sold for $1. <laughs> Was shipping, but that's okay, right? All right, an Austin Dillon. This is Donruss. There's an Austin Dillon. We don't think that's it. Nope. So it's a Donruss race used relic. Is this one it? I think that's it. That's a pretty sweet fire suit patch. It's kind of neat the way it's raised up. So yes, the Mount Warren fire suit should be 112 of 250. There it is. Yep, 112 of 250. That one sold for $4 plus shipping. Okay. Now a Spectra, Tony Stewart. And this is the Celestial, uh, Celestial Blue. I think that's it. These cards look sweet, I think, anyway. But that, I mean, look at that. That's just an awesome card. All right, it should be 76 of 99. And there it is. This one sold for $2 plus shipping. All right, Justin Allgaier. Race used. It's worth the A's. Just an other. Here we go, Marilla. Well. Oh, yeah, no I thought I pulled all the A's out. I was getting ready to say, uh oh. That's not it, is it? Oh, maybe this is it. Yeah, that's it. I was thinking it was a single. Okay, so Justin Algar race used fire suit and shoe, and it is 42 of 99, and that sold for $8 plus shipping. Okay, now we've got a Michael McDowell race used tire. Michael McDowell. Lots of racing that we sold, isn't it? Is that it? No. 
That's Michael Waddell. The one we saw was tires. Oh, there it is. They look the same. I didn't even realize that. Okay, so there is a Michael McDowell. That's race used tires, number 45 of 49. That sold for $4 plus shipping. And we got Daniel Suarez. And let's see, what is the Suarez? Suarez is... The Colossal? Okay, so Daniel Suarez, Colossal. That's a, that's a sweet card, but that's not it. I think it's that one. Alright, we'll verify with these serial numbers. Okay, Daniel Suarez. Race used tires, 30 of 49. Yep, there it is. 30 of 49. That one sold for $8 plus shipping. Alright, Eric Almarella. Race used fire suit. Sold a couple of racing cards, didn't we? All right, Eric Almarella. There it is. I think that's it. I should have checked make sure it was Chronicles, but yes, Chronicles Eric Almarella, and that is a fire suit swatch, not numbered. It's just a hollow. And it sold for two dollars plus shipping. All right, Denny Hamlin. And this is a raced used tire out of Donruss. So Denny Hamlin. Donruss raced used tire. Got a bunch of H's, don't we? Is that it? Let's see if it's numbered. Yeah, it is. It's the red one. Okay, so this one is the 1990 retro number 209 of 250 so yes that's that one and that sold for four dollars plus shipping all right then a jimmy johnson x lose driver there it is okay race day relics and that is a race use tire and it is 142 of 250. Where's the numbering? Oh, there it is. 142, 250. That sold for $4 plus shipping. All right, now, Brett Holmes. H, there we are, right back here. And this is a... Brett Holmes Chronicles autograph. There it is, I think. I'll double check. All right, Panini Chronicles Pinnacle. Yep, it is. Brett Holmes autograph. That's the Menards driver to signature. That sold for $3 plus shipping. And we've got a dual Harvick. National Treasures, dual race used tires. And I think that's it. Alright, that is Kevin Harvick. Dual race used tires. Number 5 of 49. And that went for $4 plus shipping. Okay, so we got everything pulled. Let's put these up and start working on packing this stuff. There we go. Let's get these to the post office so they can go out. See you in the morning. All right. It is Tuesday morning. I'm Joseph. And this is October 31st. Happy Halloween. Uh, we've got one order and then I've got some things here that I want to share with you that I found. All right. Let's... What do you want to do? Show you what I got first? Then pull orders? Let's do that. Alright, so. Got a couple finds here. Here's a vintage Dallas Cowboys snapback hat. 
It's a little stain right there in the front. But other than that, <coughs> excuse me. Other than that, pretty good shape. We got an old Atlanta Super Bowl, was it 28? Yeah, the Georgia Dome, Super Bowl 28. And that is the sports specialties, which if you know anything about hats, that is the one you're looking for. Those are the ones that bring the most money. It's the sports specialties hats. Uh, this one's pretty good, pretty good condition. There's no staining on the, the rim there. It's all in good shape. Snap back, no stains. So that one, I don't know, I haven't comped it yet to look, but that, I would guess, <clears throat> probably be, I'm guessing 60 to 70, probably, something like that. And the Cowboys one, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I've got a smooth character, Joe Camel. And that one's, it's a little bit stained, but it's kind of in bad shape. It's a snapback as well. Looks like one of the little snaps are broke there and there. But I'd say even in this condition, it'll probably be still at least 10 bucks, something like that. All right, and then I've got this bear statue. It's a 15 inch statue and it's a resin. This thing's pretty heavy. I would say just by guessing, it's probably eight pounds or so, maybe a little bit more. So it's pretty good. There's nothing wrong with it. So that'll be something good. This is pretty neat. It's the limited edition, 24, no, 24, 24 karat gold plated face mask and that is the Raiders this one is serial numbered I uh, don't know if you can see it in there but it is serial numbered 20 2649 of 3000 so that's pretty cool it is autographed by Ronald Curry he used to play for UNC I believe and here's the COA from Baseline Sports Back in June of 2002, and this was when I went to their customer service thing. It's back when I had a a card shop. So we got this. That's pretty sweet. It's a nice looking helmet. So and of course everything's authentic. So and then had another Star Wars episode one. This is Jar Jar Binks, fully posable. This is the. 15 inch version, the action collection. So I'm not entirely sure yet what he'll bring, but I just wanted to show you my finds for today. So that's my finds. Not bad for a day. I want to try and get even more. I've got more things I'll, I'll share with you too. I actually found some cards and everything, but we'll, we'll do those tomorrow. I'm trying to show you some new finds every day uh either if i go out to the <coughs> out to the thrift shops or just finding stuff that you know in boxes that i've had for years or what so let's go ahead and pull our first item well it's our only item it's our only sale today but we did sell an lp and it's from 1972 it's the cabaret original soundtrack so, box nine, number 40. So, another one, another LP. Box nine, number 40. All right, it's down on the bottom here. I've got to get this organized better. Okay. Number 40. Got a lot of them in here, don't we? Mm. Let's see, I can't, can't read. Where are we at? 29, okay. Let's gonna be towards the back here. Is that it? Yep, there it is. All right, number 40. Original soundtrack, Cabaret. I 
guess that's how you say it. I see it anyway. But yeah, we've, we've got to get these. I'm getting more and more stuff on here. So, seems like whenever I sell it, it's at the bottom, doesn't it? Or at the top. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get this pulled up here. Let's show you. All right. The Cabaret gets sold for $4.99 plus shipping. So let's get this packed up. And then these will be our new items. We'll try and get those pictures taken and listed here this week too. All right, let's pack this up. Okay, I was actually just looking and I saw a question from someone on how do I ship my LPs. So I just thought, you know what? I can just pack this up on the video and show everybody how I do it. And then that way they can, they can refer them to this video. So let's go ahead and do this. So of course I get one of my thank you cards, which I love these things from eBay. Again, from the eBay store. It's just thanks. You ordered made my day. Hope this package makes yours. And I sign it. And then I love these from the post office. They're free. Just domestic mailers. You just get them on USPS.com. As long as you use them for United States Postal Service shipping, they're free. And you can just slip your thing in there that you print from eBay. So there's no cost on that. And then I have my... customer's information but uh i put the invoice copy of the like invoice in the package and then i use one of these lp mailers so this i can ship up to i'm trying to remember is it 10 i think i'll do 10 i think that's what it is but you know i just Bend them on the first one all the way around. And then, of course, we're just going to do that first bunch. The first perforation, I guess I should say. But this one's trying to fold on the second one. I don't need that. pre-bold or pre-bold pre-bend all those i lay my lp in there then i will put my invoice in there with my thank you card i'm going to make sure i don't put my customers okay so i put that in there with a the thank you card and then i actually have some bubble yeah, let me show you this is my little supply closet where I have all my stuff but I've got my bubble wrap up here so I'm gonna get a piece of this it's already perforated here I gotta set this down already perforated so I just grab that and this, I want to get some of the smaller bubble because these are the big ones. So it's a little bit thick. But, and what I do is, see, you get your bubbles up here. You get your bubbles on the, and you get the smooth side. So you put the smooth side against your product. So we're going to put that down like that. And then I need to get the tape gun, which I just ran out of my eBay tape. So now I've got my regular tape because I got some when I used my coupon. If you guys have a eBay store, make sure you're using your eBay store coupon because they give you, depending on what level you have, what level store, the level I have, I get a $25 coupon every quarter to use in their eBay store. And that's how I get my 
some of my supplies, whether it be tape or the thank you cards or... There's that. And boxes. All right. So I'm going to put these. And what I do actually is I go under the lip there like that for the first little run and it just kind of holds it. And then I'll put three pieces of tape on the end here, I'll show you. Oops, that ah, figures it folded over. Sometimes that happens. I hate when that happens, but. We'll flip it up here. And there might be a better way of doing this, just because this is the way I do it. Doesn't mean it's the right way, or the wrong way. But it is the way I do it, and someone was asking, so. Figured it would be kind of cool to show. Usually it seems like it goes better than the way it's going right now where my tape keeps folding over. It always seems like when you're oops, when you're on camera doing stuff, it doesn't go as planned all the time. But we've got that. Okay. We're all taped up and good. So now, gotta check the weight of this thing. Need to get a little riser. I <laughs> use my candle to rise up. Okay, so that's, oops, I'm gonna stick this on there. So it's 15 ounces. So, and this is 13 by 13. By one. Oh, that. Look at that. It peeled the stuff off the side of the table. Oh, well. Okay, so. Let's print this label. Alright, so we're able to actually print it as um, media mail because an LP can go via media mail. So it costs $3.92 to ship via media mail and now we'll I use the cutter here to cut my label and I want to show the customers information I'm trying to think the best way to do is to show you how I do it this this will work I don't want to show my customers Info. Normally it's way easier than this, but where I'm trying to cover the address up of the customer, it's a little bit harder. But I just wanted to show you how I do my stuff here. All right, and then one last cut. Okay, so there's that. Now we'll put it in. It actually slips in here. So I put the barcode down towards the bottom. So I'm going to do it up here. And then once you get that in there, then I peel off. It's got a little sticker. Or not sticker, but a, what do you call that? A little tab thing. And then you just Bend this over to close it. Okay. And then you got this backing that just peels off. And let me tell you, this stuff here is super sticky. So whatever you touch it on, it is not coming off. I promise you that. So you don't have to worry about 
All right, let's try and see if I can keep this covered and do it to show you. All right, there we go. And there it is. So that's how it goes. So that's our order for today. So thanks. Let me know if you like seeing the packing too. And if you like the longer videos, I've gotten a couple comments that they like longer videos because they like just turning it on in the background and having it go. So rather than have a bunch of little ones, I just do the one long one, one per week. But so I think that's the format I'll probably stick with. It is easier as far as the editing aspect of it as well is by doing that. By doing that, I only have to edit once a week. So, which it takes some time. I would say as far as the videoing and editing and all of that per week, that was another question I had the other day is how long does it take? But you know, I can go into it in more depth another day or another video, but I would say per week on the videos is probably at least 10 hours a week. But so it's, it's not easy, not hard, but it's time consuming, right? And then you got to rewatch the stuff and splice it. And it might even be more than that when I stop to think about it. You know, that's a good thing I could do is after getting that question, I really couldn't fully answer it. So I need to pull that data and see how long does it take? So I'm going to keep on working. I want to reach to my 500 subscribers and 3000 watch hours. So I think right now we're sitting at 146 subscribers and like about 1300 watch hours. So we're getting close. I want to get up to that threshold point that e or not eBay, but that YouTube has set as those that criteria. And that's for the year, like the watch hours, but all right. So let's take this and you know what? It won't fit in the mailbox. And my mailman is out this week. So it's the backup driver. So I can guarantee you, no matter what I do, the backup driver will not take this because I'll have to stick it by the door and they won't get it. She always does, but the backup driver doesn't. Doesn't matter if I put a sign out there, they'll just, they'll leave it. They don't ever do it. They're just, they get what's in the box and go. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to have to take this one to the post office. But, all right, guys. Happy Halloween. See you in the morning. Good morning. It's Joseph. Wednesday, November the 1st. So October is officially gone. That's the first month of the fourth quarter. It is out of here. See ya. So I'll, I'll wrap up after we pull orders today. I will show you how I wrapped up on October sales. And then we're starting today, November 1st. Uh, I've already had a couple sales come in this morning since getting up. So I've got three orders to pull today. So we'll go ahead and get at it. The first one being a 2018 Topps Allen and Ginter Baseball Blaster Box. So I've actually got those right here on the shelf. So we're going to pick one. Which one do you think we should get? I think I'll go with the back one. That's what we'll do. We'll go with this back one. All right, let's hope they pull an Otani. That's what they're wanting to pull, right? Otani or Acuna. So that was, we got $202.49 plus shipping. So the story on those, and I've gotten some messages from people that enjoy the story behind the stuff I'm selling. So that, actually, I bought back in 2018, and I, I bought a whole case, or half case, I think it was a half case, with a, a friend of mine, his name was Dwayne, and we were doing box breaks on eBay with them. And we were selling them, and it was crazy how much we were getting for those things. I mean, those it was going, I don't know, when you add up all the teams and stuff, for, typically on a box break back then, on a blaster box, after everything was said and done, 
you know, we averaged probably $25 a box, you know, given everything, taking out all the shipping costs and cost of the product and fees. And that's not counting any time that we put into it, but oh, and the materials like for shipping. So I would say we probably averaged $25 a box, which to me was good, right? Well, on this Allen and Ginter stuff at the time, the cryptocurrency card was huge. So we actually, we learned after we did the first one, we created a separate team, if you will, for cryptocurrency. And then also did a separate team for the non-baseball. So we had all of our 30 baseball teams plus cryptocurrency and non-sport. Well, the cryptocurrency spot, almost every time on those when we were running them, was going for $50 plus. It was, we were... We were excited. I think we probably averaged $80 or so each box on those when we did those. And uh, that was towards the end of 2018 and then into 2019. Because we got them, it was crazy. We, we found them, or well, actually we, I don't want to say we, but my late wife, she actually found them on Target they were doing a a special deal they were only 14 dollars a box that's crazy right so 14 dollars a box so we bought some f just for us to do our breaks and then it was a few weeks later that they still had the sale going on so i bought more and that's where these came from i actually <clears throat> had 10 of them and i found these last year and i listed some i sold five last year and i still have five left well I just sold this one, so actually I've got four left now, right? Let me make sure that, let's see, one, yeah, I got four left now. So, uh, yeah, so that's kind of cool. And then, of course, at the time, you know, Tani was kind of hot, but not like now where he's going down. If he, I know he had Tommy John surgery again, but that's the second time. It didn't affect him the first time. It, as far as making anything worse or anything like that so i envision if he continues playing like he is like because people people are comparing him to babe ruth will that continue i don't know i guess only time will tell and on this one i actually i have it listed for 300 dollars, and i did a sale i just for a halloween sale and i put it at 224.99 i did a 25 percent off I thought, you know what? This weekend I'll just do a quick pop sale and see what happens. So I did that on a few items. And I inadvertently sent an offer out on that, an additional 10% off. So that's why it went for 202.49. So I'm kind of I'm bummed at myself because I another mistake. Here I am making mistakes. You know, I made that mistake last last week on that comic. And here I am making a mistake here and just cost myself, you know, 20, 22 dollars. But it's okay. Uh, it, the one actually closed on auction. And the reason I say it cost me that is one actually just closed on auction two nights ago, I think it was, for like 228 dollars. And, and I think their shipping was like 15 dollars or something crazy. But uh, my shipping was 715 so um but i will ship this insured too all right let's pull our next item our next one is a and this one i just listed last night and it sold within just a few hours so it makes me think i messed up maybe i listed it too low and i remember i had it for a dollar 99 i'm up to 299 but it sold really quick it's a 2023 Upper Deck Series 1 Tyler Clevin, and it's the Young Guns rookie card. So we're going to go here. And we get the, these bottles. And it's a Clevin, so it should be, be close to the front. And there it is, actually. So Tyler Clevin, Young Guns, 2023 20, 24. Upper deck series one. 
and that's oops, let me show you that sold for $2.99 plus shipping. Which shipping on that was just a dollar thirty. I did up my shipping a little bit because it was like a dollar eleven. That's what I was doing. Now I'm doing dollar thirty. Or something. Or no, I'm sorry. It was a dollar six or something like that. Let's see. Let me look here. What was it? I think it was like a dollar six. That's what it was. It was a dollar six is what I was charging. Well, now it cost me like a dollar eleven to ship it. And I didn't even catch on that I was losing money on the shipping piece of it on these cards. So I added 30 cents in there, which again, it's not like I'm making any money. So you figure that's a quarter after what I pay, right? So after one qu that quarter, I mean the the uh, the brown paperboard jacket I use, you know, they cost almost a dollar a piece. So all right, let's do our next one. Now we've got a a Gartner Studio Stationery, and it's the Silver Floil Snowflakes. The customer bought two of them. They're in. Box seven. Custom. Oh, okay. There we go. All right. Box seven. Let's go to box seven. So I guess I'm thinking Christmas stuff now is going to start picking up. Now Halloween's gone. Everybody forgets about Thanksgiving. So let's skip over it. Okay. I think it's these here. Yep. There we go. All right. So we got two of them. So. And this, a lot of this stuff, guys, it's just stuff that I have, like like these, is stuff that I had from my late wife's scrapbook and stuff and stuff like that. But because I just, I don't scrapbook, so I figured let someone else enjoy it, right? So, so I've been if I find stuff like that, I just list it. Okay, that they both, both of them together. I got $9.99 plus shipping. So that's my orders for today. So pretty good start to the month, right? Being that this is November 1st. So let's get these packed up. And then I'll go over our monthly totals for October. All right, there's our three orders going out. One went priority, one went ground advantage, and one went eBay standard envelope. So we used all three different things. Now let's check out our month end sales. We can see how we ended the month of October 2023, which is the first month of the fir fourth quarter. So for October 1st through the 31st, we had 296,752 impressions. Now that's down 22% because I did a little uh, promoted listings in the first week of September and wow it spiked everything like all of these numbers but it didn't spike my sales so I don't do the promoted listings I tried it for a week just to see what would happen and I want to say it was only maybe three days I did it actually I significantly in Increase the traffic to my store but it didn't significantly increase my sales and I feel like I still sold what I would have sold anyway and then on top of that when I stopped the promoted sales I had almost two weeks where it was super slow it was like dead so I wondered did they penalize me because I stopped the promoted listings so I don't know so I haven't done it again I was thinking about trying it again come here in November or maybe even December but I'm gonna let it ride I think for November and maybe try it in the first part of December I've tried different sales and things too and it just it doesn't seem to generate much and then of course I made my mistake today and you know or last night and sent another 10% on top of something I already had on sale but so anyways that that's down my page views are up though 3172 
Coin be sold down, and I, again, that's 25% down. However, I think that's because in September I sold a bunch of screw downs, thick screw downs. So that affected that because I he bought all of them I had, which was like 40 of them. So that counts in the number, the total quantity of items sold. Click rate is at 0.9%, which I've always heard you want to be at at least. 0.2% I think it is so I'm at 0.9 and then sales conversion rate I've always heard that you want to be at at least 2% and I'm at 2.6 so that's good there and then our numbers actual sales dollars finished the month up 40% from last month so we finished $1,906 and our average ticket was $23.54 which was huge but again those thick screw downs or what hurt me last month on my average sale. So that's where we're at. Our net sales ended up the October month and we're gonna get $1,318 from all of our sales. So I'm hoping, I really had hoped that this number for October, the net number was gonna be you know, north of 4,000. So it's nowhere near what I was hoping is I was hoping my total sales were going to be about 7,000 in October and I didn't even crack 2,000. So it's a little bit disappointing. So I, I try to increase my sales goal for each month by typically at least 20%, right? But I think I'm going to do even more than that. I, I want to say I, I need November to really pump it up. So I'm, I'm hoping that November sales, because that's historically the most fruitful month throughout the year. So I'm hopeful I can hit 10,000 in sales in November. So we'll see what happens. I know that's a tall order. So, and you know what we could do? What is that per day? Because I think there's, what, 28 days in November? No, 30 days. That's right. Okay, so 30 days in November. So if we want to hit $10,000 in the month of November, we need to average 300 and, I'm sorry, I just did 30. I mean, 28, didn't I? So 10,000 divided by 30. We need $333.33 per day in sales to hit that goal. That's a really, really steep goal, but we're gonna try it. And so far today, you know, we're off to a good start. Today we're at $224.19. So we are pretty close. If we can keep this up, we just need another $109 today to reach today's goal. So looking at it at a per day goal. So we'll see what happens. All right, well, see you in the morning. Thanks for joining. All right, so we're gonna go in the post office because when my post line doesn't pick up. And then in here, that's where we put our packages. Pretty neat. Wait in line. There it is. Then we're gonna stick this one over here. There we go. So yeah, whenever my regular post lady is off, the backup driver never takes my packages and the last week I got dinged a few times with late shipments but I wasn't late it's just they didn't take them they left the packages at the house so now every day if the mail's not been picked up by 4 30 I drive over here to the post office it's roughly 15 minutes from the house but I do that that way everything goes out uh, so okay We'll see you in the morning. Thursday, November 2nd. I'm Joseph. All right, we got two orders today to pull. Just jumping right in it, right? I hope everybody's having a good day. It's kind of weird. I was thinking about that. Do I say good morning every day when I'm going from day to day to day? Because really, it's the same video for you guys, even though it's a different day for me. So it's kind of strange. I don't know if that's good or not, but. You guys can share with me if you like that or not. 
I'll try not to digress. Okay, first order. We've got a PlayStation 3 game. So it is Need for Speed Pro Street. It's complete. Case of manual. It all works and everything. Let's go box 10. Need for Speed Pro Street PS3. Box 10. Here we come, box 10. All right. <laughs> Move these. Okay. Box 10. I need, I'm selling down on my video games. It's this one. There it is. Need for Speed Pro Street. Uh, I wish I had more of these. I swear it feels like I've sold a video game like one every day which I'm not complaining I like that that's exciting stuff I just hate that I don't have more games replacing it okay so this one sold for $9.99 plus shipping all right and then that's one order the other order sold two of the 2021-22 NBA Hoops Blaster Anniversary Edition boxes, basketball. So that right there, sold two of these. I think that's my last two. Yes, so, so both of those, and those were $59.98 plus shipping. So that's my two orders for today. So we'll go ahead and get these things packed up. No new finds to show you yet for today. Might have some more new finds tomorrow though. And uh, yeah, all right. Let's pack these two things up, get them out to the post office. There's our two orders going out. So we will go ahead and jump those out into the mailbox, our regular mail Ladies back, yeah, <laughs> I think it's awesome. That keeps me from having to go to the post office, which, I mean, it's not like it's a big, big deal, but it is like 30 minutes to drive there and back. That's 30 minutes I can use to list more things or do something else like I need to do around the house, right? All right, well, tomorrow, like I said, I think might be, I have some more findings to share with you tomorrow, but We'll see how that goes. We get to listing some more stuff. I'm trying to build up my bank on scheduling for listing. I don't know how you guys go about it with your listing, but it really helps if you're consistent on having the same amount of auctions go out every day. So when I first started, I started out with five, and I did that for about two months, doing five every day, and then. I switched to 10, I was doing 10 a day. And that is meaning that that's what's going out. So I might have, say I do 20 in a day, right? That's four days worth if I'm doing five a day. But you schedule them out and you keep yourself a bank built. Try to keep like a 14 day bank. Because if you do that, you'll constantly have new stuff going out every day. Even if you're not able to work, if you get sick or if you go on vacation, you're still having new items going out every day, and that helps with the eBay algorithm to make sure that new stuff is going out every day, and it keeps your customers coming back and checking out for your stuff. Because when they start to learn that you're having new stuff going out every day, they'll come back and check back with you pretty often. And I always schedule mine when I do it. I do it between 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. Eastern, and I put a minute between each auction. So I would schedule the first one for nine o'clock, then one for 901, 902, and so forth. And what that does, again, it just gives something, a, a minute in between, like say someone wants to win. It really works if it's auctions and if they wanna win multiple auctions, instead of having them all end at the exact same time. Because I, as a buyer, I've done that before where I've bought from a seller and I, there's two cards I want. And I'm like, oh, I want both of these. 
but I'm gonna have to choose which one I'm watching to try to bid on at the end because they both end at the exact same time. Whereas had they been different, I potentially could have won both. So I think as a seller, especially if you do auctions, it would be very beneficial to have at least a minute in between your auctions. So, and it just kind of carried over into my eBay store where I list the buy it nows. I do the same thing and I just have the minute in between each auction. So there's a little tip for the day and I think that'll be it. I'm gonna go ahead and put these out in the mailbox and I'll see you guys in the morning, which will be Friday. Good morning. It is Friday, November the 3rd. I almost said October, but November the 3rd. Post office didn't take my packages again yesterday. I got sidetracked and lost track of time. And by the time I realized it, it was already after five o'clock. I looked out at the box and the flag was still up. So I thought, well, maybe they're late because they come as late as 8, 830. There was one night it was actually after nine o'clock. So I left them out there until just after 11 last night and brought them back in. I'm so discouraged and frustrated because it counts against me when they're shipped late like that. And it's not that I shipped them late. It's just the post office didn't pick them up. So I've got to make myself an alarm every day that goes off at say 4.30 and if it's not picked up by then I'm just going to have to go to the post office. I actually was almost thinking about maybe changing my routine and just taking them in the morning after I pack them up every day. But I mean I hate having to throw that extra 30 minutes at least in to my day because that cuts out of listing and sourcing and you know all that stuff. So but speaking of sourcing, I've got some stuff here that, uh, some, some finds here. So I'm going to share those with you and then we'll pull orders. I do have, I think it's five orders or is it six orders? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, six. We got six orders, six orders to pull today, but I'm going to show you my finds first. So the first thing here, I'll just leave them like that, flip it around here. But first thing is, this thing's pretty cool. It's the Star Wars Episode One, It's a Trade Federation Tank Desk Destroyer. It's pretty slick. So at that, also have this Linux Legend of the Christmas Rose. It's a 15th anniversary Christmas princess. So, and when you look at this thing, I'll show you these other two. But look at the price tag. Well, I thought it was on here. There it is. I mean, this Linux stuff is nice. Look at that. $159. So I don't know what it'll sell for. But we'll see. And then I also have another Linux piece. It's a Easter Angel. And you see the price tag on, well, it's the same thing as that, but it's $58. Again, I don't know what it sells for. I haven't checked it. And then we got a 15-foot printer cable. So that's my finds for the day. I feel like I'm going to do really good on the Star Wars and the Linux. So as far as cost on those, uh, some of the stuff I... I don't know because some of the stuff is just things that I've found pilfering around, so to speak. So, uh, I mean, the cable, and I need to write this stuff down whenever I do get things too, you know, that way I can share with you what I got. But I'd say the cable's a dollar, the Star Wars thing's $10, uh, that Lennox piece, probably $10. And then that Linux piece is probably $20. So I think we'll do really good with those. All right, let's pull orders. So the first order, I bought five of the BCW top loader or top load card holders. And it's the ones with the black border. They're in box five. So they bought all five of them. 
box five. It's the black border. It's actually the first set of these that I've sold. I got these just to test out because I am direct with BCW now. So I can, oh, another something. Oh, there you go. Uh, so I can get stuff much cheaper. So here they are. It's these right here. So it's the black border. And he bought five. These, yeah, those are black. There's, I think that's all I have actually. That's all I have with the black ones. But I got red, blue, green, white. So I'm thinking I might reorder those. I got just these to test, to try out and see if they would sell. I, my cost on those are it's $2.80 each. And I sold them, actually sold all five of them for $24.95. So I believe I got them listed as $4.99. Now, I do have it set up with a discount, so I think he probably got 15% off of that. And I don't know why it doesn't show it. But I think it's 15% off of that if you buy three or more. So, and he bought all five. But, so, I mean, on that deal, on that lot of five and that order after shipping and everything, I probably made $15. So, which isn't bad, you know? Okay, next order. Got a Jermaine Johnson, the second rookie card. It's the Rookies and Stars autograph. So, I had two of these. I sold one for $14.99, and I had a bunch of offers on it, too. And I got, it was a redemption, and I, it was a redemption that I got back from Panini. And I got, like I said, I got two of them. And, well, actually, no, take, let me take that back. It's not a redemption. It was, I used my Panini points. That's what it was. I used my Panini points to get them. It was 150 points for each one. And I sold one for $14.99, maybe a week and a half ago. And then, and I got a bunch of offers on it, too. There it is. And then this one, it's been like the hottest thing in my store. I've probably gotten 15 offers on it in the last three days. And the people sent a messages. Oh, it's, this card's not worth that. You know, will you take it less? Or this one other guy sent me a message. This one's for my son. And I don't have any money. We accept the $5. You know, and, and I'm, I like doing charity and stuff like that too. But sometimes it's like, come on now. I, I don't, I don't know. And maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Tell me in the comments below if, if you think I'm wrong, but. I sometimes think people do that on eBay just to see if they can get something from you for cheaper. So, I don't know. Like, on this card, I just kept going back at people with $11.99. I have it listed for $19.99. And I thought, you know, almost half price. That's definitely fair. And then I had an offer last night. This guy sent in an offer. And scroll, oops, scroll up here. And I sold this one, took an offer of... $15.99 plus shipping. So, can't beat that, right? All right, so that's that order. Then I have another order. Sold another box of the 2018 Topps Allen and Ginter baseball. These things have been really picking up a lot of uh, steam over the last week. So there's another one people looking to pull Otani, I guess. So there's Otani. That one. Oops. I just hit the wrong button here. I want to show you what I sold it for. Okay, that one sold for $214.19. I'm sorry, 99 cents plus shipping. So he wanted a discount on shipping. So refunded that. Uh, sent back 533 
Okay, another, oh, Josh Berry, another card. I should have left this box down. So, 2023 Donruss, Josh Berry, Retro. Oops. I need to fix my, somehow do the camera better. Sometimes I mount it, sometimes I hold it. But. Okay, so, we need, what was it, Josh Berry. So, the bees. I'm about to start getting these in. Oh, I'm lucky. There we go. All right, so there's a Josh Berry. It's numbered 14 of 25. And it's the race to use tire. And that's the hollow gold. Is that version. The hollow gold. That sold for $19 plus shipping. I took an offer on that. I think that's the only... That's the last card we'll have, so let me put this back up here. Our single card, that is. And that's sold for 19 plus shipping. All right, have another order, and it is another box of the 2018 Tops Allen and Gifter baseball. So, sold a second one of these. And actually, I sold one the other day, too. I'm trying to think. Yesterday, actually, yeah, sold one yesterday. This one sold for. $203 plus shipping and I know my offers are kind of all over the place and I probably could get more if I hung on to them longer but I've just been kind of trying to make sales this month uh, my my steep steep goal this month is to make $10,000 this month so that's an average of $333.33 a day in sales can I do that I'm hoping so it's a very, very steep goal. But, hey, you got to have goals to achieve them, right? So that's what we're trying to do. All right, next one is, believe it or not, another box of 2018 Tops Allen & Ginter Baseball. So that leaves us with just one more. Here, we'll take the back one. That leaves us with just one more of these. And I had 10 of them that I had found last year, last November. And got these things. Okay, this one sold for two fourteen ninety nine plus shipping. So there we have it. That is our orders for today. So we'll get these packed up. There's our fines, recapping again, and then our crazy post office that didn't take our packages yesterday. All right. Let's pack these up. There we have our tower of packages going up today. Six packages. And I also wanted to share with you too, I, I went ahead and pulled up the pricing on these. Oh, I know I showed you earlier. I just wanted to show you. So the cord, I was right, it was a dollar. This one here, that's got a price of 58. It was actually $10.80. And then this one here, that was a hundred and... I think it was 165 or something like that. But it was $40.60. And then this here, the Trade Federation Star Wars Episode 1, was actually $20. So that's what we have there with those fines and our package is going out. All right, we'll see you in the morning, which will be Saturday, where we'll wrap up and share what our total sales were for this week which is going to be what I think we've only got the seven or eight weeks left in the year. It's kind of crazy to think the year's almost gone. All right. See you in the morning. Oh, and I'm going to run these to the post office now. I'm not going to run the risk and those other ones that didn't get taken yesterday. I'm going to take them over there now. I'm actually going to talk to the postmaster and just see, hey, is there some way I can get a scheduled pickup every day you can go online and schedule it on post the post office.com and schedule it but it finds like doing it every day and then i find that they don't always come every day so it may just be all a mood point and i may just need to run to the post office each day but all right see you in the morning all right welcome to saturday november 4th i've actually got three sales to pull for today all three are cards so i'll pull those and then 
I have no new finds to share today, but we'll recap the sales that we have completed so far. So let's go ahead and pull orders. So pull these boxes down here to the table real quick. All right, the first one is a 2023-24 Upper Deck Series 1 Matt Zuccarello. So Matt Zuccarello, there we go. And that's the UD Canvas. And that sold for $1.35 plus shipping. And actually it looks like this customer bought all three of these. Okay, so now there's an Upper Deck Series 1 Ryan McDonough. And that's that one. Ryan McDonough, that's the UD Canvas. That one sold for $1.25 plus shipping and then the last one is hunter mccown young guns there it is hunter mccown young guns and that one sold for a dollar 75 plus shipping so that's my three orders for today that are actually all going to the same customer so i don't know if all three i think three of them will be too thick for the um, eBay standard envelope. So might, I can do two. So I'm probably to do one in one and two in the other. But he paid shipping for all of them. And I may see too how much it costs to just send it on ground advantage. Like the shipping he paid, did it, will it cover it? Because I don't, I mean, I'm not making much as is because his cards only sold for a dollar. But I'll check those and see what that'll go for. And then after that, we'll recap uh, the week's sales. All right, there we go. I actually got it in one package. I did check. Customer paid $4.08 shipping where he bought the three cards individually. And it ended up costing $3.75. So I think that's fair. I mean, the, the envelope cost me a dollar. So, all right. Now let's go over here and check out our week ending sales and how everything played out so as you know like my week runs from Saturday to Friday so this goes from October 28th to November 3rd and I had a really good week $1,426.28 up 419% from the prior week so that's really awesome and the total amount we end up putting in the bank is $1,050. That is kind of a bummer when you think about it. It's like, man, you sell $1,400, but you only get 1000 of it. It's like, wow. But cost of doing business, right? So 44 total sales. Our average ticket went up again to $3,242. And that's where we're sitting right now. So I do appreciate it. Thanks for checking out. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Share like comment below and check out my ebay too see if maybe you'll find something you'd like to purchase there's a link in the description below thanks for your support appreciate it till next time see you on monday bye